Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much for following me. This is Kathy Brocks. Amen. Continuing our show. This is live, hallelujah, at 636 in the a.m. this July 22nd, 2013. And uh, as I promised, we have the word satisfying excellence all week. Amen, amen, amen. And um, the first up is Shawana Hayes. Amen. Well, it's actually pronounced Shawana Hayes. I keep saying Sha. As if it starts with the S, but it's a C. Sha, Cha, Juana Hayes, Joanna Hayes, and you, a lot of you guys may know her um, from um, the Anita Baker albums, uh, Luther, um, and um, <clears throat> some newer folks. But I'll let her tell you all about that. I mentioned those two because quality voices, and uh, when you have an excellent voice. It, you you have to have an excellent voice to show up on some of these albums. Uh, she was on there when uh when you know when they were uh were alive and big, amen amen. But she's also been with some um some newer acts as well, and uh, Shawana has been just you know blown up all over the place. And uh, it it um I shouldn't say that I should say she's been working hard. Uh, I told you before that she uh sang for. Um, she sang at the wedding of George Lucas and uh, Melanie Hobson at their reception, and uh, it was a big to do. Uh, and she she knocked it out of the box. Amen, amen, amen. And uh, she's been singing uh, for quite a long time. And uh, she also um, mentors uh, kids. She also uh, volunteers at her church. Uh, she's uh, I believe she's a part of the. Um, the ministry, which is uh, the pastoral ministry, and uh, she has just been going uh, nonstop. It seems to me, nonstop, and she just loves the Lord and she loves um, just working hard. She's uh, sang with R. Kelly. Uh, she did some work with uh, Quincy Jones, the Third Men Condition, H Town, Tony Braxton, Tom Burrell. The Brown, she did a show with uh, the Brown Sisters through the European tour uh, just uh, in 2011, and um, she she is uh, she's just awesome. She's just doing it. Uh, she's also um, she she uh, performed at a wedding uh, that was uh, uh, hosted on uh, the Tom Joyner uh, show. Uh, that was uh, Donna uh, to Donna Richardson. Alright, uh, so uh, to when Tom Jordan married Donna Richardson, there we go, in 2000. So she's been doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and uh, she's just been loving every bit of it. Uh, she also has a, a couple of new songs uh, that are out there. And, uh, she has a video that says, uh, that is titled Free to Be Me. We'll be playing that a little bit for you. Amen. And also she has a song called Fallen in Love. And we'll be playing that in a little bit for you as well. Amen, amen, amen. So we're going to break this up into like uh, two segments. So we'll have like the first half of the interview, um, you know, doing this segment. And then the second half of the interview, uh, doing the next segment. Amen, amen. This segment is uh, called My Peace. Amen, amen. But we're going to go ahead and blow through that and let Shawana uh, speak. And we got her speaking on leadership and music and career. Because this is just the things that young women need to know about as well as young men. So all those that are listening, definitely tell your friends to uh, come uh, to click us on. Amen. You can go to letgradionetwork.com and click us on, and you can hear the interview live there. Amen. Amen. Uh, and as well as um, just dialing directly in. If you go to that page, you can just click directly in to us. Click on the logo or uh, click on the little um, uh, podcast, and you can hear us live. Either way. Amen, amen, amen. So we're going to have an interview coming up for you in just a minute. So in about two minutes, we got the interview with Shawana Hayes. She's a gospel singer. She's a rapper. Uh, there's no style of music that she cannot do. Uh, so definitely uh, check her out. She got some words for us, y'all. Amen, amen. We're going to have that coming up in about two minutes. Amen. Weather only limits the fashions you wear. Want fashionable pieces that doesn't reflect your income? Makeup so smooth it's silky and perfect for dark skin, light skin, and the shades in between? Jewelry is so beautiful it's luxurious. 
Wantables is the only choice. Wantables, classy, sexy. Wantable IDs, your great taste in jewelry, makeup, fashion. Available at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. LUTGRadioNetwork.com. LE Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style and LE Apparel at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Sweat in style at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Get your LE Apparel now. Relocating to another city or down the road? You can get the best rates for your cable, phone, and internet needs through Digital Landing Cable. Digital Landing bundle plans can simplify billing and offer monthly savings. Call 1-877-355-5430 to get great rates today through Digital Landing Cable. Again, that number is 1-877-355-5430. Cable, sports, cartoons, movies, educational channels, something for the whole family. At rates that's easy on your eyes, off on your bank account. Digital Landing Cable can offer monthly savings, easy billing. Hit a home run. Call Digital Landing Cable today. 1-877-355-5430. Digital Landing Cable. LA Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style in LA Apparel at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Sweat in style at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Get your LA Apparel now. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, y'all, so we got the uh, interview with... Shawana Hayes coming up in just a second. Definitely go tell your friends that it's on. Amen, amen. It's coming up in less than two, ten seconds here. And um, just um, listen and um, be blessed by what she has to say, definitely. And, uh, hey, turn up your speakers. Amen, amen. All right, y'all. Here, here's the interview with uh, Shawana Hayes, gospel singer, as well as a, a business owner and um, minister. Amen, amen. So this is Kathy Brox from LUTG Radio and uh, the Examiner.com and uh, the Arts and Entertainment column. And I'm on the line with Shawanya Hayes. She is a gospel singer, amen, as well as a writer. And we're asking Shawanya, I'm sorry, I don't mean to butcher your name, Shawanya. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, we're on the line asking Shawanya about... Um, Leadership, being a woman uh, of faith, and uh, as well as a musician, and uh, her role in leadership. Hello, everybody. My name is Chawanya Hayes. I am a singer. I'm a writer, entertainer, also a business owner. I have a nail salon on the west side of Chicago, and just trying to do my thing and just grow. All right, now. Where or who would you say that you got your encouraged to pursue your dreams? Because I looked at your bio, and you have been busy. been doing a lot of things. I mean, singing with people like R. Kelly, Anita Baker. I mean, Luther, what gave you the courage, or who gave you the courage to pursue your dreams, to sing and to make music? Well, it just was already there, and I was always looking for people to validate that gift. And I came across a lot of people in my years that uh, opened doors for me to do those type of opportunities. Uh, but I think the courage really came when I started to encourage myself and believe in myself and just let myself know that I was able to do it. <laughs> so it didn't matter who believed in my gifts, who didn't believe in my gifts, I kept moving. And I just went from let down to let down and still stayed enthusiastic. And I just was open to any new experiences that came away. So how did, like, for example, I'm looking at this, I mean, Mint Condition, Tony Braxton, Tom Burrell, the Brown Sisters, you have been just, it seems like, and you can just tell me if this is true, it seems like you have been on fire from since you just jumped right out the box. And to us, it looks like you've just been going straight nonstop. I mean, no. did it feel that way for you? Was it that way for you? Not at all. Like I said in the beginning, I was looking for people to validate my gift. So, little spurts happen for me. I say the first came in like 1995, then another spurt came in 2000, then another spurt came in 2011. And in those times, I didn't maximize the momentum 
because I was waiting for people to open the door for me. And every time I got to another step to meet different people and, you know, people made promises, oh, we're going to help you, we're going to do this for you, and then nothing happened. And then so I lost the momentum, I lost the, the drive, I lost the passion putting that responsibility in someone else's hands. Well, now, since things have opened up with the internet and things like that, I can go for myself. So, and, you know, and just let people know that I'm still here and I'm still doing it. And just let the momentum build higher and higher and higher. So I plan on riding the wave. <laughs> so it's just no more to ride. So I'm like, surf up, baby. Because Ooh. the vapor is, it's, it's the vapor. You know, when you get that inspiration, it is a vapor. And if you don't ride it, you'll lose your, your goals, your dreams, your passion. And if you look back, a month passed, a year passed, years passed, and then you still have to achieve your dreams at home. Wow. Okay. All right. So you encourage yourself. Uh, can you just tell us, like, what kind of things did you say? I mean, did you do it like a, solilo a soliloquy like David? I mean, just full out encouraging yourself like yes, David? Honey. <laughs> David is definitely one of my inspirations. And it's like, when you go to pursue something, it seems like the closest people around you tell you why you're crazy, why you shouldn't pursue it, why it's a silly dream. You know, just like David, his own brothers told him. You know, when he was like, you know, what's up? <laughs> why you only going up there for your giant? You know, you always going to show off. You know, you know, trying to put him yeah. down and make him think that he was foolhardy for something that he believed he was capable of doing, that even though his brothers looked on the outside far more capable than David was at that time. You know, he was a shepherd boy. They were already warriors. But David, the little shepherd boy, knew inside of himself he could do it. And then he had to recount his past victories. I killed the lion, and I killed the bear, and this giant will be just like that, too. You yeah. have to encourage yourself, and I had to do the same thing with myself. I had to say, sure, you can sing, you can write, you can have some creativity, so you can go out and do that, too. You know, and sometimes you can uh, look at an opportunity that presents itself and discount yourself, disqualify yourself. Oh, there are a million reasons why you shouldn't do it. But you have to encourage yourself. You have to reflect on the things that you have achieved successfully. And then know that you got what it takes. And if nobody believes in you, get believe in you. That's what I had to do. Amen. Amen. I'm right now. See that 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 is a person of victory because you know that's what a lot of uh, sports athletes do. They look at the good things they do, and they ignore all the bad. So what you're saying, you know, Davy was like, "All right, come on, <laughs> I can do this. We can do this." So you're looking at what you could do, and not what not what happened before. Right. And that, you you don't have to uh, ignore the bad, but learn from the bad because we do have stress and we do have weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we pursue a goal, if our weakness is keeping us from achieving the goal, we have to strengthen that weakness through education. So we can't just not discount the weakness. We have to build that up. All right, now. Okay. So with all these things that you've gone through, and some of these people have made promises to you and they didn't keep them, growing up and maturing in that and learning from that experience, how did you discover it was okay to trust again? Right. Well, we're, the, the, the problem that I had was trusting people when I should have been trusting God. Mm. God tells us to put our trust in no man. But if we know that God got us, that God is in us, God is for us, God is working through us, and we will not fail. Amen. We will not fail. Amen. You know, what, what stopped me from trying again, trusting again, when the Almighty God got my back? Okay. It don't matter who's saying what they're going to do and don't do it. It don't matter. Because I know God is going to open the door. There's nothing they can do about it. Because in God's heart, in God's hand, He holds the heart of the king. Amen. He, he can turn it whatever way He chooses to. You say He holds in my favor. Amen. You say He holds the heart of man. Yes. Amen. All right now. Also the king's too. Say that again. I said also the king's too. Amen. Amen. But I mean, people that hold uh, prominent positions, wherever they are, that's what I mean by the king. Even through the Bible, you know, remember um, right before uh, the, uh, before jo when Joseph came about and got raised, God has showed the king a dream. Uh-huh. Okay. So, God speaks to kings, too. And it's happened a lot. 
lot of times throughout the Bible. So we are problem solvers. Mm-hmm. And no matter what our desire is or what our gifting is, we will be elevated as long as we're diligent in those things. Okay. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to stop right there for a minute because we, I'm going to play Shawana's song, Free to Be Me, talking about God doing the uplifting and God, God doing the uh, increasing. The amen, amen, amen. Let's check out this remix, Free to Be Me by Shawana Hayes. limits the fashions you wear. Want fashionable pieces that doesn't reflect your income? Makeup so smooth it's silky and perfect for dark skin, light skin, and the shades in between? Jewelry is so beautiful, it's luxurious. Wantables is the only choice. Wantables, classy, sexy. Wantable IDs, your great taste in jewelry, makeup, fashion. Available at L-U-T-G Radio Network.com. L-U-T-G Radio Network.com. 
LA Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style in LA Apparel at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Sweat in style at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Get your LA Apparel now. All right, y'all, we got more from Shawana coming up in uh, less, well, in less than two minutes. Got a little bit more from Shawana Hayes coming up just in a short second, all right? Uh, I do want to say what's up to some folks listening. Hey, man, we got Holly on the chat. Holly Norris, go ahead and check her out. She got a show here uh, on uh, Spreaker.com. Uh, a little caveat. She may curse a little bit, but uh, let's listen to what she got to say. Maybe she got something good to say here. She, she thinks I want to give her a little shout. So uh, definitely uh, go ahead and check out, see what you, you know, see what you like about her. Let her know whether you like it, whether you don't. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, remember, folks, uh, Jesus loves you no matter what your background is, no matter what you may have done. Jesus absolutely 100% loves him some you. And can't nobody stop him from loving you. Nobody. That's on the real. Relocating to another city or down the road, you can get the best rates for your cable, phone, and internet needs through Digital Landing Cable. Digital Landing bundle plans can simplify billing and offer monthly savings. Call 1-877-355-5430 to get great rates today through Digital Landing Cable. Again, that number is 1-877-355-5430. Cable, sports, cartoons, movies, educational channels, something for the whole family. At rates, it's easy on your eyes, off on your bank account. Digital Landing Cable can offer monthly savings, easy billing. Hit a home run. Call Digital Landing Cable today. 1-877-355-5430. Digital Landing Cable. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, y'all. So, uh, we got more for you from Shawana Hayes. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. And I just want you to remember that uh, Jesus uh, absolutely loves you. So uh, for some of you folks, I know I just said that, but for some of you folks, some of y'all don't believe it. You don't believe that God loves you. You don't believe that people uh, that, are, that are saved uh, will even speak to you. Some of you think that um, that Christians you know don't want to be bothered with people that ain't saved that's our business that's what we do alright alright so we're gonna let Shawana keep on rolling for another couple minutes and then we got the altar call coming up y'all in less than five now what kind of uh, what what's the one goal or the dream that a nugget of how to achieve your dreams what would you want to leave to someone maybe someone some young lady or some young man came up and asked you and they said Miss Hayes What's the one thing you can tell me that I can do to be successful? that coming up for you in the next segment but we got to do the altar call because well souls are first and foremost no matter what's going on so here it is amen 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 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that through him the world might be saved amen Jesus 
absolutely loves you, beloved. No matter what's going on, he absolutely loves you. You'll be surprised at the things that Jesus would hear and people would say to him. He'd be like, look, you know what? I am the truth. I am the light. You know, in order to get to the Father, you had to go through him. And Jesus is like, I love you. I mean, this is how much God loves us so much. Jesus knew who Judas was, and he still loved him. You know how uh, some people, when they figure out somebody don't like them, they push them away? Not Jesus. Jesus is like, I love you. I love you. <laughs> and he died on a cross for you, for me, and for all the other Cains and all the other Judases and all the other people. And, and for every person, because all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We all have. Remember I told you the word Adam means bloodline. The first Adam was uh, the Adam that God created from the dust of the earth. The second Adam was his son Jesus, who was uh, born from the womb of Mary. Mary was the house for him. Mary was his enclosure to make sure that he developed. Once he developed and was born, it was on. It was on. And um, Jesus matured into a full-grown man because he could not become a sacrifice as a child. The sacrifice must be full-grown, and he became that full-grown sacrifice. And through him, through his sacrifice and through his punishment, and for him taking the punishment for our sin because he was sinless, we have freedom. We have the ability to be forgiven and to have a relationship with God the Father. So, which means Jesus is the door in which we walk through to get back to the Father. To get back to that love and that, that generous, that generosity, that peace. Amen. Salvation. God's name means, I am that I am the first and the last. I am the source. Jehovah doesn't have a Savior, but He does provide the Savior through His Son, Jesus. And He wants you to receive Jesus Christ into your heart. It's free, yours for the asking, yours for the receiving. If you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth, that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet, and everyone I know, it's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. This is for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Yes, repeat this. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. For the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. LUTGRadioNetwork.com. And um, click on the link, find a church. Go get water baptized. Take the foundation class and a prayer intercessory class. Amen. Remember, Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. And for all of you that are listening, uh, um, I pray that you uh, did say that prayer. And if not, we've got another opportunity for you. As well as you can always rewind this podcast. Amen. Re rewind it because once uh, this show, uh, once I click um, the next segment, this is going to become a podcast and it will not be live, but it's recorded. Follow me to segment number three. Amen, amen, amen. That's the birthday segment. We're, gonna, we're still going to have some birthdays up for you. We're going to say definitely uh, big props, big ups to you. And um, we got the Shawana Hayes uh, interview continuing where she's going to tell you uh what her, how she achieved success and what she what's her model for success. So we got uh, singer, rapper, gospel singer Shawana Hayes. Amen, amen. This girl loves this this woman loves to be a blessing and um, she also owns a nail shop. So definitely frequent her shop. 
I'll put all that info um, on uh, facebook.com forward slash LUTG Radio 247. Definitely check her out, you guys. She's a, she's a gospel singer. She's a businesswoman. She ministers the gospel. She, she's loving the Lord with all her heart. Amen, amen. And she's single. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, y'all. She's single. So for all you gentlemen and uh, that are holy, holy ghost filled, saved, amen, amen, amen. Pray. And God may bless you. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So we got Shawana Hayes coming up in just uh, about five minutes or so. All right. This is Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio telling you, love you. Amen.